Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to spend some time out here in the Hartley, just kind of enjoying the day where it's warm because we got more snow last night. See that? It's beautiful. But you know, all of the garden clean out I was planning to do this week has been kind of waylaid, just a tad. It was just dumping snow on us last night. It was so pretty. You could still see that orange sunset, like the sun was going down and shining through the snow, just pouring down. And it was kind of a weird lighting thing, but it was gorgeous. And this morning it was completely snow floor and it was very foggy. It looked very much so like we were at the very beginning of January again. Um, anyway. I'm happy to have some projects in here to work on. We're gonna focus on the area under the sink. So this is what we've got going. I do not like having all this, you know, I don't mind seeing the pots because, you know, that's pretty. I like stacks of pots. But I don't wanna see bags of soil and empty pots and my cleaning supplies and my hose, all of the, you know, stuff. Underneath the counter, we have, a, you know, a filter at the bottom of the sink, you can see the pipes. That is a on-demand water heater. We had a lot smaller one that was actually mounted to the wall. It just wasn't keeping up. I was sad because it was such a slim, nice looking unit and very much so easier to hide than this is a little bit bulkier, but it was just barely giving us lukewarm water and only for a couple of minutes. And, you know, while I don't need it for a lot of projects out here, it'd be nice to at least have hot water. <laughs> From, from it. So what I'm wondering, is it gonna look weird if I do some kind of a tension rod with a real pretty piece of fabric? Cause you know, I've got this right here that it could, you know, set on. Uh, let's see, I would probably have to make a notch in this little brace piece and it would run in front of the sink and then, you know, our curtain would fall here. Would it look weird to only have one on one side and not on the other? Maybe not. Um, because if I had this, you know, the bags and stuff moved here hidden behind the curtain and then I'll have my hose in a basket behind the curtain and then I could leave prettier things out you know all the pots uh, and then maybe get like a taller wicker basket is kind of my trash can because I don't have one out here right now this is kind of my trash area <laughs> that's no good I think it's just going to require some experimenting I think I want to try the whole tension rod and a pretty fabric curtain first because that seems like a really easy thing to do plus It'll be easy to move out of the way when I need to access the stuff that's under there because all of this stuff I use a lot. I need to be able to access it, but I love for it again, just to be hidden away. But we're gonna have to run around town a little bit. I think Erin's actually gonna come with me. I'm gonna need to pick up a tension rod or two. I might go ahead and just pick up two so that I can make a second curtain if we decide to do the full distance. And then maybe, you know, a wicker wastebasket, some pretty fabric. I might have to dig out my sewing machine. I haven't done any sewing in so long. <laughs> I don't even think I've sewn anything since we moved into this house. I think it's, it dates all the way back to our townhouse. It feels so good to get these areas tackled though. I mean, we just did the greenhouse. We just got the studio done yesterday. And if I can keep chipping away at these areas and get them all kind of squared away and ready to roll for the season, oh, it's just a good way to start things out. First stop is Joanne's. Aaron's gonna wait in the car, but I don't think this should take me too long. And I think I might be able to get everything here, possibly. Ooh, tension rods, okay, I need one. It's 51 inches underneath that counter and this one goes 48 to 75, that'll be perfect. I'll probably just make a rod pocket, but I do think I have uh, clip-on rings at home already if we decide to go that route. I might have to do this, you guys. That looks chocolate brown, not black, which I really like. Just a little bit softer. We can always try it. And then if we don't like it in there, we can put it somewhere else. We can use it somewhere else. All oh, these carts are so small. I've always thought that this one's really pretty too. All right guys, so I got my tension rods and my fabric. I bought a few different types, all in kind of softer colors because I don't really want, I mean, the whole point of having the tree or the, not tree skirt, <laughs> the sink skirt. I don't even know if that's what you call it, but the whole point is to kind of have it disappear. I want it to be pretty, but I want it to be muted. I don't want it to scream at you as you walk in. So now the last thing we need to go find is some kind of a wicker basket. So uh, how many games of chess did you just complete? 
while I was in there. I won't talk about it. <laughs> we are at Home Depot now. Hopefully we find a garbage can of some kind. Where would a person look for something like that? A garbage can? Yeah. Cleaning? Like the cleaning area? Maybe. Let me see if they have anything in outdoor. AKA, let's swing through and look at the plants fast. Real fast. How take it so far ahead of me? Well, they didn't have quite what I needed. They did have garbage cans and like some wire baskets and things like that, but I really need like a tightly woven basket that won't let any garbage go outside of it because I really don't want to line it with a plastic bag. Maybe I'm asking too much. <laughs> we'll try somewhere else. You guys, I am in Marshall's right now. And I'm wondering if this would work to put soil and stuff in because it's quite large, but it's short enough to go underneath the counter and still open the lid, I think. And we can just tuck soils and like plastic pots and things like that in here. I think I'm gonna try it. They have a pretty good selection of baskets. All right, guys, we are back home with everything we just gathered up. I think we're gonna be able to make some progress. Now, I did not know about this tape. This right here, this is an iron on adhesive where you can do a hem with just an iron instead of having to sew. Yes, for a project this small, I thought I'm gonna try that instead of digging my sewing machine out and then having to stare at it for a good 30 minutes to try to figure out how to thread it. I use it so rarely that even though it's numbered, <laughs> it like tells you where to put the thread next, somehow every time I get it out, I never can figure it out. And I did pick up several different colors of fabric. This is the first thing I looked at and I always look at this and I love it. And I know I thought that this was gonna be too dark for in here. I actually think it might be the least busy and the most non-noticeable. Because again, in here, I want really the plants that are in here to shine. I don't really want a big loud piece of fabric, you know, if that makes sense, uh, like a statement piece of fabric. These others would work too because they're really kind of muted, but they are brighter just because they're lighter color. You know, this is really pretty. I mean, the beautiful part about this is that whenever I have a project that calls for this type of thing, I'll always use this sort of thing for like pillows or recovering chairs, things like that. Or so we rationalize to ourselves as we are buying it. And I've always been a sucker for just simple stripes like that. I tend to like the more subtle, more, I don't know, simple patterns rather than, you know, things that have a lot going on. But like, as I look this way, there's so much going on that if I put something else back there that has a lot going on, I'm not sure that I would love that. But you never know. So we're just gonna go ahead and tape a piece of this, each one of these up and see which one we like best. But I wanna get after this wicker basket first. This is not what I was expecting to find a little, little wicker chest, but it's gonna be perfect because I think we can eliminate all of this flim flam right there, all of it. I think we can get all of that out. We can tuck the basket underneath there. Um, we can hide our little garbage can, which this is not a big enough garbage can, but I thought maybe I could find one, you know, just like the little under the desk one. We just didn't have one here, an extra one. We only had this little, little guy. This will work for now. Uh, I brought this basket home too, because I liked it. And I thought, well, if this doesn't work out, we'll find a use for either one of these, but this is a nice tight weave and this would work well as a garbage container too. There's my iron. But I think this might be perfect to tuck our brightly colored soil bags, our fertilizers and cleaning supplies. And then we can just shut the lid on all of it and have it look nice. So let's get this stuff cleaned out. Oh my goodness, does that not look better? Oh, now this heater will not be in here for all that much longer. I will wheel it back out to the middle here today and that just keeps this side of the greenhouse a little tiny touch warmer on the really cold nights. Yeah, tonight's low is 24 and we have a couple more 24 degree nights. That's the coldest it looks like it's gonna be for the next 10 days at least. So 70% chance of snow today, when? Oh, this evening, makes sense. This is what it's been doing. You remember what it looked like this morning? This is what it looks like by mid-afternoon. And then we'll get more snow tonight and it'll do the same thing again tomorrow. It's so good for our plants, it makes me happy. Now, at this point, 
I almost feel like I did use that basket. Obviously, you can see it right there. This is the best hose. I love it. This little flexible hose. It's I just tried to order one for my mom for down at the garden center and they don't even have them listed anymore on Amazon. They sold out and then I don't know what happened. But anyway, I love it and I can just pull it out of the basket when I need it. And when I'm done, we'll just pile it back in there. It's super easy to maneuver in here. I've got just like a half size dram wand. How long is this? 16 inches. I took the diffuser off the end because I needed more uh, control with where the water was going. Works really well. I almost feel like I just need a half size cover in here. Would that be weird? I don't think it would be weird. I think it would be better than covering one side and not covering both. Let me give you a look in here. This is perfect. So we've got potting soil. This is more potting soil than I ever intend on having in here. I only need one bag. For some reason, I ended up with a couple, but I've got my, you know, spray and paper towels, my little broom, a couple extra towels in here, hand towels, and then our garbage can. I'm so happy with that, especially once that goes, it'll look so tidy. So I think the next part of this is just figuring out what fabric to use and how wide to use it. I should see what Aaron thinks in terms of how wide it should be. You ready to give me an opinion? Yeah, I'm always. Always, always ready. ready to give me an <laughs> okay, first off, I want to hear your thoughts on this new. Oh, well, looks good down here. Doesn't it look better? Yeah. So I'm thinking, and this is my question to you, the width of the cover I'm going to put under the sink. Now that the hose is in a basket, I feel like the cover only needs to come over yeah. so that I can access the hose. I can hold it up and get your opinion. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I think black is better. If you if you got like a black black. Okay, I taped that piece of fabric up just very uh, haphazardly just to get a feel for what it would look like. And I think, I mean, I love that fabric and it will look way better if I had, you know, had it actually ironed and hemmed and all of that business uh, and not puddled on the ground. I think that that color looks really pretty with the wood, but I don't know. Something dark would definitely not show up as much. And we can always swap it out. You know, if I tried it with this one and tried it with the black, we can uh, interchange them depending on what we're doing in here and what look we want. But I do know I'm going to need to go exchange these for smaller ones. So I'll go do that so that we can actually get this hung properly. Just back from Joanne's for the third time today. And I ended up with even more fabric. <laughs> and tension rods that'll work. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the tension rod we need for this space right here. And then it looks like this one is going to go this distance here. And then I got this fabric. It's kind of a, it kind of blends in with our stones and the grout color. I think that that's the best one so far. And I don't think I would like stark black. And I feel like even though I love that, just the simple striped fabric, I think it's a little bit too bright. So I think I'm gonna go with this. I kind of like it. And that's how my projects go when it involves paint or fabric. Uh, I'm so visual that I have to see the color in place and not just on one wall. I need to see it on all the walls because light reflects you know, different colors off of different walls depending on the light exposure on that wall. And I'm the same with fabric. Oh, I mean, I know what I like when I see it and I know I love all the fabrics that I have here, which is, you know, nice because we can use them for other things, but it does lengthen out the process. Yeah, that's a really nice color too. Like looking through the plants, they, I don't know, there's a richness about that gray and it looks good with the wicker because the wicker basket right next to it has some of that same color in there. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna set up the iron. I'm going to press this fabric because there is a fold right down the center. And then I'm gonna start cutting and doing my hem with that tape. Hopefully this part goes really fast. That would be awesome. And I think I'm just gonna speed up this process. I'll try to give you some close up looks, but uh, I don't really know how, what I'm doing or how I'm gonna do it. So it's gonna have to just like fall into place. Hopefully <laughs> it falls into place. <laughs>
Okay, update, I got the fabric ironed for the most part. It's gonna kind of be bunched up anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. And this hangs pretty nicely. And then I folded this over. So you can see I did it twice. I did it first here and decided that I wanted to leave myself extra room for the rod pocket. And I'm not gonna do any fancy like fold over like that. I don't care. Nobody's gonna see the back of this ever. Um, so I'm gonna go the quick route. And then I did a little test piece of this tape because I've never used it before. Uh, and I just followed the instructions. So the next thing to do with this, if you were gonna be using that piece, is to flip it over and then you heat it with your iron here and it should all stick together. Um, so anyway, what I'm gonna do is run a piece of that along probably the top here and then I'll fold, fold it down and get it all ironed. It almost seems too easy. <laughs> Hopefully it works. guys I got one of them done it looks so good to me like that is the perfect color it goes with everything else it's kind of like that brown gray it does have a little bit of a pattern but you don't see it it just kind of blends in and there's a rich look about it so this panel right here will be for the inside which will run like it'll meet up with this one and it'll run back so that from the side like right here, you won't be able to see in and see the pipes. But I'm losing light because I had to go to Joann's three different times today and I went to Home Depot and Marshall's. Where else did I go? I went to the garden center. So I went, <laughs> I went to a lot of different places and I ended up back here twice in the middle of all those errands. So it was just, it took me a lot longer to gather myself uh, to get this project done. So I'll be back either tomorrow or the next day whenever I can come in here uh, and do this next panel. But now that I know how to do it, it'll go really quickly. The thing I learned, which I already knew, I just, I got really excited about hanging it in the beginning. Don't do the rod pocket side first. Hem up your sides. And I don't even know if that's the proper term. Hem, hem them up, create a seam. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know anything much about sewing, uh, but do the sides first and then you can do the bottom and the top with the rod pocket. Otherwise you'll close off the pocket for your rod. So I did that. So see you guys in a day or two to finish up this project. Day two for this project. We just need to finish the second panel, which is going to go a lot faster this time than it did the first time. Cause now I kind of have a feel for it. So I'll get that done, get it attached under the sink and then I'll give you a look. How this little spot turned out. I like everything about it. I like the texture of the wicker and the color and the natural kind of feel. I love that there's some softness with the fabric, but it just, it does kind of disappear, but it has that rich color. I just think it turned out so fun. And it's one of those projects that you kind of think, why didn't I just do that sooner? Why didn't I just tackle it? I think in my mind, I knew it was going to be a process and it was going to be five patterns of fabric later until I figured out what I wanted it to look like in the end. And that happens to me with some projects sometimes. I just put them off because I know, like it's inevitable. <laughs> it's gonna be a process, at least two days. But in terms of sewing the fabric, it was so easy. And I think it created a really nice line. So there's a panel in the front. We'll store the watering can under there, just anything kind of plastic, but they come together beautifully right here. This one I just thumbtacked up because I'm never gonna be, probably be moving that. Uh, you know, all the water is accessible here. I'm super happy that I did not end up going all the way over because I access this hose every single day and I'd have to like flip the fabric up out of the way or have some way to hook it over to get it out of, you know, out of the way so I could get my hose out. And this, I probably won't be accessing my uh, watering can, but maybe once a week to do my fertilizing in here and then everything else other than changing the filter, you know, that's 
few and far between really. One thing that I did do over here is you see how this one ends right here because I had to attach it. This is as close as I could get it. It kind of, it just hits a board that's right on the inside right here. I couldn't tuck it under. So I made with some extra fabric that I had left over, I just made a tiny little panel that tucks back in there and you don't even notice, but I could still kind of see the water tank, like a little cream line showing through right here. And I just thought, you know what? This will just disappear back there and we won't ever see that kind of creamy white shining through. And this was the deciding factor really in the end uh, to go with that sort of fabric right there. I think when you look through all of the different leaf color and texture, if I would have had a pattern on that, it just would have been too much. And then, you know, I got Aaron out here and he thought a solid would be good. He thought maybe black, but then I got to thinking about all the stuff that's flying around in here all the time, all the dirt and dust and pieces of moss and leaves and stuff. And if I had a solid black piece of fabric, I think it would have, you know, if stuff stuck to it, I'd feel like I need to lint roll it all the time. But I think this color is gonna be pretty forgiving. And here is my extra pile of stuff. <laughs> And what I usually do, like the fabric, they did say if I hadn't altered it, they take it back. Uh, but I really like all of this fabric and I will use it for something else. And then these little curtain rods too, like I do have a uh, window in the chicken coop. I wanna put another, this is gonna be the one I use. I wanna put another curtain up. So unless it costs a lot, I usually keep them. Like these, I think it was like $4 or something like that. So it's just kind of handy to have these things on hand sometimes. I am just so thrilled with it. So incredibly thrilled, you guys, I love it. The only thing I need now is just to outfit my basket with a little bit of a larger size garbage can. Uh, I think having that little tiny round one, I mean, it works for now. And while I'm not really, it's just for when I groom plants in here, which I go through and groom like maybe once a week, but when you keep up on it, you don't really have an enormous pile of stuff. It's usually when I'm just doing potting projects in here. Uh, that I amass a little bit more for the trash can. So I will get one that's kind of like a standard bathroom kind of size garbage can. I think that, that would uh, fill up a lot slower so I wouldn't have to take it out as often. But for now, the round one will work and I'm super thrilled. So thank you guys so much for sticking with this project. I hope you enjoyed seeing it come together and you know, who knows, we might experiment. Now that I know about that tape for sewing, I mean, we could come up with some other things under here and experiment even. Um, if we get tired of kind of that gr brown gray, we could try some colorful stuff or whatever. And I know it's not gonna take me very long to put together a project like that. And the last spaces I have to kind of go through and organize are the flower shed, which is not a tremendous amount in there because we just completed it last year and I hadn't moved that much in to begin with and behind the barn, which it's organized back there and it's like clean. Paul and Bethany have it all organized and clean and tidy, but I kind of want to go through, we're going to be organizing that area to hopefully build an overhang off the back of our barn so we could park gators underneath it, which means we'll need to move stuff out. So that may happen this spring. I don't know. All right, guys, I got to go take care of all my plants. I need to water all my seedlings and all of that. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.